Everything starts with an idea. to Peru to test our limits, to connect with the nature and learn about the local history. But there were many unexpected lessons to come. There was a time when people respected that they are part of this world, and in some corners of the planet, people haven't forgot this, and their life is guided by faith and gratitude. One of them is Max, our guide towards Machu Picchu, whose lessons will stay with us forever. He reminded us that in order to receive, first we have to give. So we asked Pachamama for safe passage through the Salt Country Mountains by making offerings. Guys, uh, my ancestors, oh, 500 years ago, the Incas, actually the Chamans, used the three coca leaves for the worship for the Pachamama. Three coca leaves represent the upper world, this world, and the underground. Three sacred animals, condor, puma, and snake, represent your future, the present. The past, because we are going to enter to the sacred mountains. Remember that Salcantin Mountain and Ausangate Mountain is the protector of the Cusco regions. For the, our offerings, we need the candies, crackers, chocolates, and then uh, uh, you have to choose the most beautiful road okay a small road or the beach road is up to you okay we're well, gonna do a small uh, apacheta hey, when you uh, put your candy and your road please uh, you can if you want uh, to get uh, one witch you can do it okay you can do it in your mind okay Each of us offered something on that mountain and received only what we needed. Pachamama took good care of us. As for the remaining road to Machu Picchu, we can say that it was long, treacherous, but also full of wonders. these three days, we had to surpass our own limits, fight the thin air and rainy days, we had to find more energy when we were tired, but at the end we made it to our destination. We conquered ourselves, and most importantly, we built new friendships. 